Okay, questions? What do you think about the uh, sloppiness of the game? 12 to turn was the mind, coach. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, we had all kinds of them in the first half. And then, uh, quite honestly, being down uh, 20 to 7, you know, I talked to the guys at halftime that, you know, we should have been down 40 to 7 with that many turnovers that we, we committed. And turnovers come in bunches, and, and we got on the right track, and we got about six turnovers in the second half. And, uh, you know, number one, I, you know, you got to give San Jose State credit. But, you know, we, we've, we've got to be able to block for PT. You know, and we've, we've had a lot of problems with that. And, uh, you know, but just like I told my players, uh, you know, when you think of this game, don't, don't uh, criticize anybody without looking in the mirror, you know. Uh, for our whole team, including all the coaches and everybody. Uh, you know, that's, you know, that was an exciting game for the fans, but uh, not really exciting for, for our coaches. Yeah, okay. anyway. Do you think defensively uh, San Jose was doing the force the turnovers, or do you feel like there was more mistakes on your end? No, I, you know, I've always felt as a defensive coach, that buys really help a defense, but they don't help an offense. And uh, we weren't quite in sync in the first half. I'm not making any excuses. That's what I've always believed. That's just the way it is. And, uh, you know, I thought our defense, you know, our defense gave up seven points in the first half. Uh, obviously, we gave away too many turnovers. Uh, the score was 20 to 7. Then the second half, defense got, uh, you know, what, five or six turnovers. Uh, we were ahead, and we had two kicks blocked, you know, which, which I think, you know, that, that had a lot to do with it. Coach, about the defense, uh, coming out of halftime, seemed absolutely defiant. I, I thought the defense played great. I thought they played excellent in the first half. You know, San Jose State has good offense. And they, they had their running back, they had their guard, they had their, everybody. They saved them for this game. And they're good, you know, I mean, you know, they're, uh, they've played good football. And uh, they had all their guys. And, you know, in the, in the, uh, First half, like I said, against our defense, they scored seven points. And then, uh, you know, because we, we held them twice, once inside the five and once, you know, for three points on turnovers by the offense. And it's what we call sudden change. The defense held them twice without a touchdown. So I have, I, have, uh, I, I thought our defense, other than that last drive, played a, played a, very good ball game, uh, and then I thought our offense was getting going again. The difference in the game was uh, two points. What happened on the game-winning touchdown? How did that break down? Well, it looked looked to me like you know we missed some tackles. We we were early the seven the drive where they got the seven points in the first half. Uh, we were letting it catch it underneath it, and then we were missing some tackles. We got that cleaned up and then, you know, uh, that's what happened. It looked like on that drive. Uh, obviously looked at the video, but I think that's what happened. We missed tackles. And you got to give the San Jose player credit for running through everybody too. You got a good offensive lift in the second half from Maya Ostrowski and Joey Yosefa and some other, and some other guys. Can you talk about uh, Maya and Joey kind of inspiring the rest of the offense? Yeah, uh, Joey did a great job running the football. We, we were trying to run the clock down, and we were running the clock, and, and Joey was helping us. And Maya came in and did some good things. We didn't want to 
push him too much and re-injure him. But he came in and contributed and, uh, you know, made some, made some plays. Uh, but Joey, Joey did a great job of blocking and uh, running the football.